Hey guys, uh, so we've got a lot of questions on picking your adapters, how to size them, uh, how to mount them, what they're compatible with, a uh, lot of questions. So today we're just going to do a long uh, kind of one take with going through everything from our full size to our shorts to our micros. Um, but first we're going to say I cover the kind of the measuring your adapter and the principles behind that. Um, so our full size line is your adapt, all right? And then the number denotes whatever molly width you have. So this is our adapt three, so it is three molly wide. It's our adapt two and our adapt one, it's one molly wide, right? Uh, standard height uh, is gonna be three inches, okay? So that's standard specification is gonna be two full rows of molly. So that's one row, space, one row, or on some that it's full continuity and there's three individual rows, but that's your standard height. For our short series, this is gonna be a two inch height for your Molly Playfield. So this is an adapt two Molly width and a short, which is your two inch height. This is an adapt one short. So our one Molly wide, two inch height. Our micro series is for that micro Molly, the Ronins, the AWSs, that kind of stuff. Um, and it is going to be a 1.75 inch play field. So adapt two micro, adapt one micro. Okay, so that is the basic nomenclature for all of our adapters. Uh, the concept for each one of them is, for, for the majority of them, is plastic on one side, molly on the other. Uh, putting two things that usually don't go together together, right? The Adapt 1 series, any of the Adapt 1s, can also be a malice clip replacement, right? So, uh, like with a vest here, so we've got an s tac handcuff pouch that is Molly. This is two Adapt 1s, two of these that are woven to the Molly, so it's Molly to Molly, right? Uh, not that we recommend this, but I use it for work. A Adapt 2, putting a Black Hawk. Uh, taser holster onto a vest. Uh, so that is plastic tamale, right? So there's your two kind of easy to tell differences there. The adapt ones also work for plastic to molly. So what we'll do is I'm going to set these to the side. And uh, so we're going to go over what kind of comes in each package, right? So each one of these is going to have your hardware that's gonna come with it, and the full size series are each gonna come with a piece of Velcro, and that is to put on the insides of your tech lock to keep them from moving on the belt um, if you're using a tech lock. Um, so that's gonna, so the Adapt 3 is gonna come with six sets of hardware. That's three to mount and three to secure your Molly tabs. Um, your, your Adapt 2 is gonna come with four sets, so that's two to mount, two to secure. Your Adapt 1 is going to come with three sets, that's two to mount and one to secure. Uh, you can add extra sets of hardware on our website um, for, for it's extremely cheap, it's I think 30 cents uh, per set of hardware. Um, so you can add, you know, if you're doing a, a vertical or a directly horizontal, you can mount all nine holes of a tech lock if you wanted to. Um, so some of the other things you can do, right? So if we're measuring up our, our Molly, so this is a Gista pouch, right? So we've got an Adapt 3 on a Gista because it is three Molly wide by three inch height. Um, mounted it to a tech lock, so it's a nice QD pouch. Um, this will, this does not have wider than tech lock hole pattern, right? Um, for sizing and tech lock doesn't make a, a wider, version. Blake doesn't make a, a wider version of a tech lock. So there's a good good example there. Um, here's a HRT tactical uh, rifle mag that we put horizontal on a tech lock and you can see we did a four corners method here. Um, but again, like I said, you could mount that up as, as rock solid as you want all the way across in every single hole. Um, and then if you get into four molly wide, right? So like this is a 200 round saw pouch, but we threw some padding in there for some uh, dual tube nods. Um, 
So you can put, if you've got four, obviously just divide, right? So two adapt twos can be doubled up and it kind of curves around your body that way. It's kind of nice. Um, but that's a, once you get to bigger pouches, you can double up your adapters. Um, let's see, we got the STAC gap. Got a lot of questions on this. The adapt two is sized so that it will fit a gap. When you install it, they might bow out a little bit. All you got to do is push them in. Uh, it's super strong stuff. Um, you won't do anything by pushing it back in. Uh, it just wants to do that as you install it, right? Um, so this would be a good example here of sizing, right? Uh, this is only two touching rows of molly. So this is only two inches, an AWS dump pouch. So to mount this to a tech lock, you would need an adapt too short to not have any vertical play. Um, and I can show you that real quick. So this just, you can see that's where it ends. That's where it bottoms out. And that's how you would attach it, right? So um, let's see. So we also have different compatibilities than tech lock, right? So the tech lock hole pattern is kind of what we based it off of, but um, it will also work with Blackhawk uh, belt clips, um, their old ones and their new ones. Their hole pattern will allow you to mount our stuff and it'll give you a little bit fine-tuned angles um, as opposed to a tech lock where you can kind of get like a couple of different angles if you're canting stuff. Um, it also works with Wilder Tactical's uh, UAB. Um, I definitely recommend the, the rotating UAB, I think is what they call this one. Uh, and then it will also work with the Safari Land ELS and their QLS. Um, and that goes, if you want to mount this to a vest or whatever, um, and then, so like this is, if we pull our holster off, we're gonna go shoot long range, you wanna throw a range finder into a pouch. Uh, this is an Adapt 3 attached to a fork on a QLS system. Uh, so you don't have to unweave your whole holster, you can just pull the holster off, throw this on and go shoot some long range or whatever you wanna do, right? Um, so that's some of the compatibility. Um, it will also work with uh, the G-Code Scorpion stuff. We've got a lot of questions on that too. This is all the way down to our micro um, to show that it will fit uh, all these different types of sizes all the way down to the micros. Um, so that's an adapt two micro on each one of these. Um, you can do an adapt one micro on the, the pistol mags, but uh, it still takes up two, two width molly anyway, so there's really no point. Um, the adapt two is a little bit more stable. Um, you don't get that kind of side to side movement. So um, a couple more examples. This is a Blackhawk clip, like I said, um, and you can see we've got three or four points of contact there. Um, and this is just a, a padded thermals pouch uh, for the plain clothes guys or detectives. You know, you can get another uh, throw on set of handcuffs or whatever you need to do. Um, try to get this stuff out of the way. So uh, we'll do some install now. Uh, so basic concept to the install is gonna be Put your plastic on first and then attach it to your molly. And that's kind of just the universal rule for all this, right? So we're gonna jump out our contents. We're gonna mount this uh, 1110 tourniquet pouch to our simulated vest as side zapping pouch, but we're gonna pretend this is our vest, right? So you take your T posts, your binding posts, and we're just gonna do a two point of contact for this. But like I said, you can really load it up. Um, you're gonna stick your T-post in, get your rubber spacer in place. Drop that in and screw it tight. Um, and then repeat the process. Like so. Now, we recommend Loctite for any kind of real use. Snug those down. And then a quick, a good tip with these is the bottom securing ones. If you put the T-post in and put the rubber spacer, it'll grab onto it. Um, so you don't have to keep your finger pinned back there the whole time. 
Okay, so we've got that loaded up. Slide it through both your molly. You know, there's no weaving or anything like that. Um, and then if you're running this on a vest, I would say pull the plates off to put something in. Um, but that just makes the, the vest a little bit more malleable. Drop my screw in there. There we go. Okay, that snugs down and repeat the process. And there you go. Now you've got a tourniquet pouch mounted to your vest with very little movement. When the, this is full, that doesn't want to move at all. Um, so that's your direct mounting to a vest or something like that. Um, now we're going to put a, an Adapt 1 uh, onto an HRT pistol pouch, and we're going to give it some cant on a tech lock and give it some kind of QD abilities. So you can throw it on your range belt or whatever you want, or just you know, spontaneous use, any kind of use you can think of, right? Same thing, so. And then if you don't have the angle you want or anything lined up yet, don't snug it down quite yet. Get them both started. Then you can snug them down. So we've got a, a 45 degree angle there. Um, all of our one series have these slotted holes um, so that you can really get a decent amount of angles out of them. All right. For these HRT ones, I do like to weave them a little bit just so they don't wiggle on us. And same thing. There, rubber spacer. Okay, and then with your, depending on the orientation of your belt, right, so if I have a hook towards the body belt, I'm gonna put a piece of loop right there. And a piece of hook right there. And now if I take it off my outer belt and put it on my inner belt, if I have a Velcro inner belt, it's gonna stick to it and not let it slide back and forth. So you'll hear it, hear it when it comes off of there. Okay, so that's why the little piece of Velcro comes in there. Um, so if you got any questions on why there's a small section of Velcro in there, that's why. Um, let's see. So now we'll move to the shorts, um, which is going to be for our two-inch stuff. So we'll just go an example of that. All right. So, um, so here's a defense mechanisms belt. Not a two-inch belt, but it's also not a 175 belt. It's... Uh, about 1.83. Um, so we're using shorts for all of these, right? Um, here we've got a ridgeline defense drop um, on an Adapt2 short, right? Um, with uh, an S-Tac molly to molly. So we're using an Adapt1 short to molly that on. And then we've got a LAG tactical uh, Adapt1 short uh, putting Kydex to Molly. So you can see Kydex to Molly, Molly to Molly, and then the Adapt 2 drop. This is typically on a tech lock um, and then running an HRT tactical pouch, right? Um, so, like I said, we are compatible with ELS. So let's throw on, so throw your Safari Land screw or uh, T posts in there, throw your screws through the other side, put the rubber washers between, and then Slide it down, 
Same thing, you're just gonna screw that together just like we did everything else. It's the same basic concept every time you do it, right? Um, this is my work belt. Um, so, strategic guard handcuff case on an Adapt 2 short. Um, this is a, a true two inch belt, so it locks up phenomenally. Um, we've also got an Adapt 2 with a 09 flashlight case. Uh, and then we've got Adapt 2 short with a T-Rex Arms Mars Carrier. And then we've got an Adapt 2 short on an ELS and then to a Mars Carrier on that one. And that is so that I can pull my front mag off and swap it out for a rifle mag when I deploy that. Um, so a lot of uses for it. Um, you can also use Adapt ones for a series of things, a, a number of different things, right? Um, so let me get those out of the way. Um, so like this is a adapt one short on a zero nine flashlight pouch. Uh, only reason I don't use it like this is because it puts it a little too close to that pistol mag. Um, and so the two gives you a little bit of standoff and the width is already wider than a one anyway. Um, so let's see uh, a couple more uses. So this is another. Defense mechanisms belt showing you some more uh, Mars carriers on it um, and showing you that orientation because um, you can do a horizontal rifle mag because uh, that is this is the way. Um, we've also got, uh, along with doubling up onto one pouch, you can double or even triple up onto a single adapter, right? So I got a little creative here. Uh, so we've got a, a 511 flashlight pouch a 5.11 single pistol mag for my Gerber. And then behind that is a flatline fiber code dump pouch. And all of that is woven onto an Adapt 2. And then I took an Adapt 2 short and directly mounted that to an Adapt 2. So now you've got a full bundle of stuff here that you can pull off with two sets of screws. Um, you could do the same thing to a tech lock. I used to have this on a tech lock, um, but then I've started kind of figuring out exactly what I want on this setup, and then I just plus it up with those tech lock items. Um, but that is another uh, example of use. And then we've got our uh, 175 series, right? So uh, this is our Adapt 1 Micro um, on a homemade marker case thing, kind of like the uh, 09 stuff, but uh, I didn't want to use gloves. I just Want to make a little marker holder, right? So that'll attach to this, um, another Mars carrier. So I can show you a, a direct mount, right? So this is our Adapt 2 Micro. Um, the Micros and the Shorts don't come with Velcro, right? Because um, they're not typically made to attach to Tech Lock. You can if you need to. Um, again, all you got to do is size up the Molly that you need um, versus the, the hardware and stuff, or the plastic that you need, right? So for this one, Let's go really aggressive angle here. T-post, rubber washer. Actually, doing that backwards. We'll do our T-post inside the pouch. And we'll go super steep. I had somebody comment in another video about how we don't all have these. This is just an electric screwdriver. I do this so much that I've gotten tired of using a hand screwdriver, but you do not need an electric screwdriver. Just wanted to address that now. Okay, so we've got a super steep angle on that one. Okay, and we're gonna prep these. Did I lose a T-post? Yep, must have dropped a T-post somewhere. Yep. Just gonna pillage one out of this.
Okay, so we've prepped our, our T-posts and our washers. Okay, and then same thing, we're gonna slide this through. Okay, and you can see what I was talking about with the little bowing action you'll get. All you gotta do is bring it back in. You really can crush those those rubber washers down and they won't go anywhere. There we go. All right, and that is a T-Rex Arms Mars Carrier on an AWS belt. So your Adapt2 Micro for the 175 needs for your very small sized needs. And I think that covers everything. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up in the DMs on Instagram or shoot us a contact on our website. Um, thanks.